Thank you. Alright. Hot chocolate. I'm Maya Ryan, and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Uh, so far, I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will cover topics of things that I'm passionate about, in addition to doing day in the life type blogging. Live long and prosper. Good afternoon. My name is Maya Ryan, and I would like to welcome you to another uh, edition of my blog series, Hello World with Maya Ryan. It used to be Sundermeyer, but I am changing my name to Ryan, and there's a reason for that, and I'll have to explain it another time. In the meantime, I wanted to let you guys know that I have had this uh, blog series going for a long time. Don't need to explain myself on that measure because uh, the intro just told you what I did. You can also go back and watch the commercials or my YouTube channel trailer. So that should pump you up. On the other hand, there's something I should probably promote. I'm going to be promoting it a lot more. So basically, uh, for the last year with, or within the last year, I have been writing a series of uh, blogs on WordPress, and these are also under the Hello World with Maya Ryan uh, brand umbrella. And these are practical application and scholarly type blogs. And a lot of these things I'm passionate about, but they're more scientific. Some of them are written in APA style with research. Others are written on my ideas that I'd like to be seen to be put into motion as a practical application. So please be sure to check those out. And then I recently started blogging for a publishing company which puts out resources related to autism. And these are people that have published books for Temple Grandin. And then they also have a lot of other resources by other autistic authors such as uh, Anita Lesko and she recently wrote a book about Temple called The Stories I Tell My Friends and she has another book out today called um, Becoming an Autism Success Story. She's an amazing woman and she had an all autistic wedding with her uh, husband Abram and I'm in the process of reading her book and it is inspiring. I don't want to give it away but I recommend that you guys pick that up. Also be sure to uh, check out the link at the end of uh, this blog. It'll tell you more information about how you can get there. So don't go away. Anyway, what I wanted to ask you guys to do is something very important. So there's a big argument and a big controversy between Autism Speaks, Red Instead, and ASAN. And there are a lot of people on the spectrum that are angry that uh, autism, or autism Speaks exists and they call it a hate group and they're calling it all these other things and they're just saying no stay away and then there's well, Autism Speaks itself and some of the people that work there uh, still have the mindset that autism is caused by vaccinations and that we're diseased and we're broken and we want to be fixed and the answer is yes I totally agree with that but you have to realize that if you're a leader in the autistic community and you want to be the very best self-advocate and you want to set examples and be a model citizen, you have to take middle grounds. Uh, you can't throw out the baby with the bathwater. Just because someone's involved with Autism Speaks does not mean that you snub them and it does not mean that you flip the bird at them and it does not mean that you write all kinds of swear words and it does not mean you sit in a corner and pout and or just run the other way if you want the best um, if you want the best results with someone like autism speaks then you have to take middle grounds while you stay involved with red instead or walking in red so I highly encourage you and I'm gonna start this new color because uh, it combines the two. So first off, you wear blue for Autism Speaks, and you take blue, you light it up blue, right? Or you walk in blue. 
and if you're on the spectrum and you're coming from a sand and you're walking in red you get together you stand in the middle and you combine those colors and you have purple so you have the blue because you're reaching out to parents and you're educating them and you're coming from walk in red or a sand and you're mixing the two colors together and you get purple and you're coming from a very different place but that doesn't mean that you should boycott autism speaks all together despite all the negativity and all the things that they've done to ruin other people's lives. I mean, I know that people have been hurt by them, but again, uh, you gotta take middle ground. And you can't have an attitude. You have to go into it and accept that some people at that organization are not going to change their mind. At the same time, there are legislatures and there are other people that support Autism Speaks. Those are the ones that you want to reach out with and you want to share your story with them. So that's where you walk in purple. You walk in purple when you communicate with the adults. And to make matters better, what you do is you take, um, I stuck, but what you do is you don't go to the top. You go to your state chapters and you go and you find out who the directors of these chapters are and you talk to them, even if they're, uh, they're condescending and they're patronizing. And you take a portfolio with you of how gifted and talented you are and you let them know uh, how you want to be involved. And you, uh, you approach them from your stance and you don't get angry about it. So. Anyway, I'm out of time today. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And please be sure to share this on your social media. Also, be sure to uh, light it up purple. Don't light it up blue. Don't just walk in red. Although, I absolutely love the, the red sneaker as a symbol because nobody walks in our shoes but us. And I'm the one that wears those red shoes. And so, I almost like that as an alternative to the puzzle piece. And then instead of the hashtag, you put everybody's little gifts and talents on it. So, way to go, Walk in Red. I mean, I like the red campaign for love. And I like some of the hashtags, and so I've been putting them out there. But anyway, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to but hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Also, be sure to check out my written blogs and WordPress. And check out those books on Future Horizons. Until next time, I'm Maya Ryan, and I'm signing off. I mean, I'm Maya Ryan. <laughs>